What up, y'all? We're back again. T-Biz here. We got another McFarlane Gold Label Collection figure to check out. This is the DC Multiverse Robin from DC vs. Vampires a comic series. I started reading a few issues of this. I got in about probably like three or four ways through. I can't remember. But, man, I really like to re-up my DC subscription, man. But, I don't know, I like to do the Marvel, too. But, man, it's kind of pricey for both. You'd have to give up a lot of other subscriptions, which I don't have too many, but I have a couple, you know, online subscribing things for streaming and stuff like that. Most of it's free. But, you know, I don't know, it's kind of worth it with DC because you can read some comics, but it's actually more worth it if you go $100 in, I think, for the year because you can just read, like, everything they got. Everything, man. So, yeah, it's, that's a bit kind of cooler if you ask me. But anyways, yeah, we've got good old Damian Wayne Robin vampire version to check out. Found this at Walmart uh, before we went on the old lady's birthday extravaganza and trip and journey, which was crazy, driving through the DFW area and, uh, Dallas Fort Worth was really tricky. I've, that I haven't I haven't driven for like 13 years, folks, and I got a car this year, and now I've been driving again. And to just dip myself into a long like, I think it took like seven or eight hours for that. Well, no, it was about three three and a half to three forty minutes, three hours and forty minutes, three three and a half hours or so, right under four hours there and back. And um, and that's a hell of a trip to do just. You know, just the road dogging it and stuff. About midway through, coming back, you know, we're going through, uh, getting to Austin, going through uh, Georgetown and Round Rock. Even before that, my body just started to give out because, you know, I work usually just different hours and stuff. And, uh, yeah, man, it's just, it, it takes your toll driving. It takes your toll, especially if you're, um, you know, just felt like Mad Max. Anyways, I'm going to shut up. We're going to check this figure out, review them. And, uh, yeah, there's DC Vampires. There's a look at the comic on the back. And yeah, let's say let's get this thing open and check it Books, out. And here he is, man. I think this is like the same figure. I'm not sure a hundred percent because I only have one other Damian Wayne figure, and it's from the Bat Family, the Batman family pack or whatever that I got from Amazon last year or whatever. And or was it this year or last year? I can't remember. But anyways, um got you old collectible trading card. We'll read that real quick before we get into the figure. Let's see, real name Damian Wayne, uh from Orphan Circus Daredevil Dick Grayson to Trouble Teen Jason Todd. Man, Tiger Bomb really works well. I just gotta say that. Anyways, because I have bad shoulders lately. Uh, to the overachieving Tim Drake, the, the mask of Robin is now worn by Bruce Wayne's own son, Damien, as a rebellious troublemaker who has been trained by assassins since birth. With a lethal skill set and a marginal sense of mercy, Robin no longer needs Batman to protect him from criminals. So there you go. One of the probably most independent Bat uh, Robins we've had as of late. Anyways, uh, Damien Wayne, but here he comes with the sword. It's a pretty cool sword. It's not bad at all. Got paints and everything. Comes with the va fearless vampire killing. Not uh, bad brains over here. Uh, good old. It's a dagger, but it's like a, it's a, it's a wooden spike, man. It's a damn um, what you call it, man? Vampire killing uh, stake. It's a stake. Stake. Damn it. Use your brain, Matt. Use your brain. Anyways, uh, here comes the extra fist. Comes with the trigger hand. Comes with a pointy hand, and it comes with uh, just uh, whatever, like a kind of outreaching hand, like a grip outreaching hand, or just like a, it's not quite a grip hand, but you know, it's a hand. Anyways, let's take a look closer look at him. A little bit better light. Yeah, it's not bad. He's got some funky uh, vampire teeth, man, for sure. Let's get a closer look. There we go. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> That's funny, man. He's a freak. And there you have it, man. And once again, Todd, I think he likes to leave these figures open for customization, especially if you're a good painter, man. You could probably really do some good custom paints on a figure like this for sure. For sure, man. That's freaking cool. The arms go out. Got butterflies. Swivel on the bicep. Double elbows. Swivel, hinge and stuff on the hands. Can do perfect splitsies. Got waist twist. It's got an abdomen in there somewhere, but it's covered by rubber. So there you go. That can can actually move that a bit. So that's cool. Um, double knees. It's been a while since we've done some DC stuff, man. I have some other stuff to review, but it's just stuff everybody already, we've already seen there, been there, done that. So he's got a rocker pivot and all that. Nice detented toe joint, and uh, yeah, he's pretty much good to rock and roll, man. Really good to rock and roll. That's awesome, man. I like this figure, dude. 
Uh, I don't know if we'll ever catch up with uh, all the DC Multiverse stuff because just there's, there's so much that Todd's put out, man, throughout the years, like last few years or so. And, man, I don't know if we'll ever catch up because there's some Flash figures I don't have I'd like to get. And there's quite a few other Batman figures I don't have that might be yeah, actually kind of hard to find now, like the White Knight stuff and all that. But anyways, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this guy posed up. And, uh, yeah, and, done so and here he is posed pointing with the dagger, man, in his hand. Freaking cool, man. Freaking cool. One thing uh got to take note is um, when you want to... I always forget because sometimes the hands are easy to pop off. Sometimes they're not. Since these are gloved, they're not going to be that... I don't know if that makes a difference. But you want to definitely heat them up or else you'll pop the little ring off with the peg that holds you know, into the forearm and stuff. So it's always good to take a blow dryer, air dryer, or warm water. Not like scalding water, but like, uh, you know... Pretty hot water and uh, boil it, whatever, do whatever, you know, and uh, just get it hot and soft so that rubber will come off easily, a lot more easier. Because um, sometimes you can pop off the whole mechanism and stuff and you don't want to break your stuff. But anyways, but yeah, that's a helpful tip. But the hairdryer works like magic, man. My buddy Overlord, he's uh, he's uh, also a hairdryer enthusiast. And yeah, man, it just works. It works wonders. Anyways, uh, we'll get one more pose out of him and call it a day, man. Here we have posed with the stand charging into battle with this sword so yeah freaking cool man good old vampire damian wayne dude this is a cool figure man i like him a lot i like him a hell of a lot and uh next up we'll do a little comparison with um with the other robins that we have comparisons we got him next to good old tim drake man it's a cool figure uh i think that was the amazon one i can't remember anyways and uh yeah there is next to the other damian wayne robin that we got that's also a little well, they're very much different, man. They're different figures all the way around, man. Different all the way around. I'm not sure. Oh, man. I, I got to check out the one my buddy already has because I know it's different from this one with the shurikens and stuff. But, um, but yeah, I had more paint apps on the hair and stuff. But all good figures, man. All really good. Even though mine, my Tim Drake has some blemishes. He's not perfect. But, oh, well, it's what happens in the toy game. Not everything's perfect. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching, y'all, and have a good one. All right, later.